Right, I'm just gonna uh, give a brief overview of how to set up your stand for shearing when you come to the shearing shed first thing in the morning. It only has to take five minutes, quick and easy, and everything's placed in a position so that it's uh, efficient for you to shear throughout the day. First of all, I'll just go over quick, briefly, a bit of uh, what we use as our clothing or our uniform for shearing. We use these things which are called moccasins. They're um, good footwear for shearing in because they're comfortable. You can feel the floor, you can feel the sheep uh, on your feet, as foot position is very important, so we need to feel where our feet are. They're quite durable. They last a lot longer than, say, sneakers here, for example, which will only last a month or two before the stitching will break out and they'll rot and you'll need some more. Uh, also shearing pants, which are double layered pants to stop the prickles getting through in burrs. And um, these are also very durable. And a shearing singlet, which is usually has a longer tail on the back so that as you bend over, your back's protected from the wind and the chill. In setting up our stand, we have things like oil bottles and gear containers we use. We just put these all in a logical place so that during the day, we're not wasting time changing gear or reaching, reaching far to get to our tools. Sometimes it pays to have more than one handpiece if you can to um, save your changing combs during the run. You can have two or three combs set up so that you might have a couple of different types of combs set up so that if the sheep vary a little bit, you can swap to your um, other type of comb. I usually hang my cutters high and then remove a few cutters from a string and place them enough for a run or a couple of runs and place them down low next to my uh, gear pot and just put a bit of oil on them previously as this will save time when you're changing cutters. A comb pouch is hung close by too so that if during the run we need to, if we finish shearing a sheep and during the run we need to change a comb quickly, it's just here, we can take the old comb off, reach, put a new comb on. We don't have to walk far. Most sheds will have a tray or a box like this to place your tools in, which you can place your screwdrivers in uh, sandpaper for shaping combs and your gear brush in, so it's all quite handy. Some sheds don't have this, some sheds have very little, so it pays to carry a few hooks around if you want added places to store your stuff, or maybe even a couple of hockey straps. Some people can use hockey straps to hang things off their plant here, and they all help in getting your gear in the right position for you, because you can't rely on all sheds to have uh, places for all your gear. It's handy to have a bit of tape just close by too as uh, in our job it's very easy for us to cut ourselves and it's easy enough if you just nick your finger or need a little bit of a plaster on there you can just grab it off your stand, tape it up and continue shearing. You don't have to walk over to the other side of the shed and waste five minutes taping your finger up because it's bleeding. Counters, watch. Most of the time the shed will have a, a shed clock Sometimes these are forgotten or sometimes they're not there, so it pays to carry a watch for your own personal use so you, you can see what time it is during the run and see how you're going as we shear our sheep to the clock. So to shear so many sheep, you work on shearing each sheep in a certain amount of time. Water bottles close by, sweat towels close by, so we can finish shearing a sheep. Um, when we finish here in our sheet, we can walk to our catching pen, quick wipe of the head with the sweat towel, click the button, have a drink straight into the catching pen. These things are just logical and obvious. I mean, it's a lot more obvious to put our drink bottle here than way over the other side where we have to walk over, reach it, get a drink and come back. These are time savers, which in the end will make your shearing more efficient and give you more sheep numbers. On the subject of water, I'd just like to stress how important it is water temperature. We must make sure that our water temperature is not cold or ice cold as your body consumes far too much energy warming this water up. Water temperature should be cool or just room temperature and that's the most efficient way to drink your water so your body has the most energy for your shearing.